Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase Mini GT. 164 scale is the theme today, doing a full update. Mini GT sent over all of these models. Some of them are out now. Some of them are coming out very, very soon. Whether you're overseas in the Asian markets, European markets, there's different stores that will sell them. Um, here in the U.S., you get them through these folks at Miho Exclusives. They come in the they come in this blister pack here in the U.S. You just Miho Exclusive is actually the distributor, and they get them. They work with Mini GT to get these into the U.S. Then distribute them to hobby dealers, your favorite hobby dealers. You'll find these. Go to eBay, whatever you need to, to find these cars. Totally worth it. I know many many of you are collecting Mini GT now. Uh, many of you have figured out how worth it is collecting Mini GT. And um, here are the latest cards that you can look for. Like I said, depending on your market, some of these are out. Like I said, with Miho, sometimes it's a little bit afterwards, but they all will be available uh, coming up very, very soon. And I want to show off some of these. Some of those I actually have shown. I, sometimes they'll send me prototypes, and uh, we'll get to those, and then uh, you know, to show off what's coming, and then we get the actual models. So let's start with those, actually. We'll start with these two. They are the Audi RS6 Avant in red and blue. We'll take a look at them quickly, and this one is absolutely a stunning model. Detailing, I think what, what you, the highlights for Mini GT, uh, if you aren't collecting them, and one of the reasons I think you should collect them is obviously realism. These are, these are all 164 scale, done to as much, as close, de as closely done to scale, I shouldn't say scale, and to detail as much as you can in 164. There's brands like Tomic Limited Vintage, uh, Auto World, several others that I collect. Mini GT follows in that. And what I like is like Tomic Limited Vintage has so many Japanese and some European like classic stock cars. Um, I love Auto World because they focus mainly on American cars. It's kind of the equal. And then Mini GT kind of falls in the middle um, with they kind of come from all kinds of angles and do a lot of racing cars. And then I love Global 64 from Tarmac Works, which fills in a lot of those gaps as well. And I mean, we collect, you know, we all collect what we want. For me, collecting those brands outside of the Matchbox and the Hot Wheels that I collect really gives me some beautiful replicas of some fantastic cars. And these two Audi RS6 Avants are examples of that. Love the red and the blue. Um, you can get the detailing that you want with those. Moving on, another model that's coming out. Big fan favorite is the Land Rover Defender 110. This is the British Red, Co Red Cross search and rescue version. I think this is very interesting because this model, well, first off, I just, you know, I'll show you the top before I put it on the turntable so you can see this, this rack. And then I would also kind of point out these cool steps. I don't know if these have been on the model before. So you'll see the Actual, the casting itself, the, the core of the casting is the same, but what Mini GT will add do will do is add some detailing to these um, that, uh, like like I said, a different grill or a different roof rack, something like that, to make these pretty exact. And I think this one is fantastic, the Land Rover Defender. I'm interested that they have the cross on there. I know that Hot Wheels and Matchbox can't put a cross on there, at least with U.S. replicas. Um, there's a reason for that. I can't remember, but uh, maybe these kind of, of replicas they can do. Um, and I think that Defender search and rescue version is pretty darn cool. Moving on, let's get to a pair of Supras. We have the classic A90 right Toyota Supra in dark green pearl metallic and the Pandem Toyota GR Supra V1.0 in black. So two different eras and two very different cars. We'll start with this... Uh, green version forest green kind of a metal flake forest green stock wheels mini gt will do the stock cars we'll see a couple of, well, at least one more right two more and then they'll also do the uh the kit cars like the pandem see again that's where i think it falls really nicely at least within my collecting realm uh what mini gt does so the super is cool i have the auto world version which i think fantastically doesn't have the spoiler that we're so used to and now you have the stock version although auto world's doing another one um, but it's nice to have both brands tackling the Toyota Supra. And this one looks really good in the stock forest green version. And then you have completely on the other side of the world or the other side of the, of the uh, scale here is the brand new Supra, but done with the Pandem kit. This one I could have put with the Pandem GTR because it's got the same wheels, right? It's got that black trim Pandem logo all over it. 
You know, I, I see the Supras in the road, and I really like them, the new Supras. I'd say they don't need a kit. I'm obviously, Pandem is Pandem. What are you going to... You can't argue how cool Pandem is, but... That car is so extreme looking, at least at this point. It's kind of... And I'm, talking, I'm not talking about this. This is a great replica of it. But I think the... Uh, I think the... Uh, the car doesn't need much of a kit, right? Um, to have its kind of extreme look. Although, you know, the, uh, the fake intakes on the Supers is a bit disappointing, but other, other than that, I think this one looks cool. And this one, I love the gold and black combination. Uh, we'll get another car here, here soon with the gold and black combination, which I really dig. So that's the Supra. Um, then and now, if you will, we'll get those out of the way and move on. Let's see, where should we go now? All right, two more stock cars. You can see we're getting to the... Uh, to the big boy here, but let's talk McLaren Senna and BMW M3 AC Schnitzer S3 Sport, which I think looks fantastic. Let's start with the McLaren. None of these, I don't think anything we're seeing here are new castings. Some some minor details, I think, to some of them, spoilers and such, but um, all of these we have seen before. The McLaren Senna obviously is one. I think this may have been one of the very first Mini GT models, and here it is in, what do they call it, Antares Blue, and boy, does this one pop almost looks like a cerulean blue which i think is a beautiful color big fan of that color combination especially with the black hair uh, makes the wheels pop makes the details pop you can see it on the spoiler you can see all the detail in here what mini gt does and the mclaren looks really cool hot wheels does a nice job for what they had to work with i thought the mclaren senna by hot wheels is pretty darn cool and this one really uh, but this one you have a lot more to work with with mini gt and i think they nail it on this mclaren senna you guys can tell me what you think about that okay moving on to the bmw m3 ac schnitzer s3 sport in black one of the things i love about this model is the body is the body right it's got the spoiler it's got the chin spoiler but those wheels tell you that this is an era correct version of the of the uh, e30 m3 and I like that. And Glenn has talked about this. He's, you know, you're going to see some modernized versions of, of cars, but for the most part, when he's doing a stock version like this, he wants everything to look era correct. That's why when you do the wheels, the stock wheels for these cars, he said this with the Calsonic and things like that, is that uh, he wants to put like 90s era wheels. And that's what you definitely see with this BMW is the proper wheels. This one looks so mean in black. This one might be my favorite version of this casting, the E30. So far, it's just got all the bright detailing on it, and those wheels really make it pop. So I'm a huge fan of that BMW. All right. I could just go Liberty Walk and finish off there, but I actually want to show both of these cars, and I'm going to go with what I think is the highlight, this guy right here, of, uh, of the 164 cars, and then we'll get to this uh, enormous truck. So we've got two Liberty Walk. GTRs, both LB Silhouette Works GT, the Nissan 35 GT RR, one in lava red, one in white. And the cool thing about these is while this is the same casting, Mini GT shows off because they have different spoilers. All the detailing is the same, right? In the body, oh, this one has a carbon fiber hood, but I think the casting is exactly the same. We'll start with the red one. You can see some cool detailing there i think that the liberty walk models like i think the gtr was the very first mini gt model the liberty walk gtr and it was nice but you can see where the cast where the brand has come this is a crisper casting they've done a lot of variations of the liberty walk gtr this one you know with you gotta you gotta get these detailing right with these kits and everything and they really did with this particular version of the liberty walk gtr i like the red one Really, really dig the color combination on this white one. White with black wheels. Another combination I like. I even like this spoiler better. Um, but again, the detailing is there. This is the replica of the car you would see in real life. And it looks amazing. One of these days I'll put... I mean, you can you can just see the little detailing. Look, if I, if I just pull this out, show you the chin spoiler. I don't know if that comes through. But you can see right in the front wheel, you can see it says LB Works. Just small there in this in the front. That's kind of detailing that I really, really dig that uh, Mini GT does. Those are the Liberty Walk GTRs. Dig those. Now let's get to, before we get to the big truck, let's talk about these Bentleys. Bentley Continental, it's an okay car. 
Bentley, Con Bentley Continental GT3, amazing car. And this, these replicas are cool. This is a uh, proper, right? This is the number 107 in green. Oops. Um, this one I actually previewed a while ago. This is a livery that we have seen before, right? The number 107, it's all stock. Everything is there. You can see the, 100, uh, the 100th anniversary with Bentley, 100 years. You can see the proper sponsors on the side, all the detailing in the, in the, uh, on the side, in the back, all of the racing, all of the racing detailing. And I love on these intakes in the front, the mobile deco there. It's just, or the mobile uh, logo right there in the, uh, in the intake. I love that on the 107. The 107 on the grill is very cool too. I mean, these are beautiful, beautiful replicas. As much as I like that stock green one, check out this gold one. It is amazing. In gold, take a look at the roof here and see how cool that is in that gold color. Everything else is cool here. I just, oh my gosh, I just love it. The mobile's there on the intakes as well. I love the green one because it's a replica of a very uh, well-known car, this gold one. I just think strictly from a display and as a, from a collector standpoint, I really, really dig that one. I'll take that one, this one as my 164 highlight. Make this one my highlight and then uh, of the cars, right? Then I'll probably go with the BMW E30 M3 and then, uh, and then the McLaren. The wagons already, I've already praised the wagons, but this gold Bentley is fantastic. All right. Let's talk Mercedes-Benz Actros in Liberty Walk livery. No kit needed for this one. You just need one badass truck, and that is what is here. I just think this is the coolest thing. I have shown this truck before, right? They've done, they've done it as a hauler, and they've done it as, uh, as a container truck before. There's been the Maersk containers, which we got to show how cool those are. And then, of course, there's uh, Ever... Evergreen, I can't remember if that's, but a couple of different containers, and now we get the Liberty Walk truck. So you get the Liberty Walk cab, the Liberty Walk trailer, and the container, which is removable. So let's just, instead of like just describing it, let's actually have a look at this monster. Already well done in scale, right? 164 scale, but there's so many details that uh, you have to take in. Obviously too big for the, well, we'll show the cab on the turntable, but let's start with the actual container. And I think the first thing I gotta do is this. This thing is heavy, all metal from top to bottom, side to side, the whole thing is metal. Just like containers, this is truly a replica of a small, or of, a, uh, of an actual container that you'd see on a big boat, you'd see on a train, and obviously you would see on a truck. Can you imagine seeing a train with a Liberty Walk container on it? Detailing all over the place. The top looks very cool. Even the back, when you open the doors and you look inside the container, you notice, see, it's white inside, not black. So they've actually paid attention to the detailing here, and you get that nice clank when you open and close those doors. So you've got the heavy container, then you have the actual trailer that hauls the container. Super, super detailed. You actually can pull these pieces out so you can keep it so you can keep it uh, even here. Even has the spare rubber tire, which is fantastic. All of this, and you know, the wheels roll really well. In case you were wondering, look at that. And then, of course, you have the fantastic cab. So many details on the cab. We'll put it on the turntable so you can see, like from the wiring in the back, you can see. The, uh, I don't know, the details in the cab, the front grille, which is menacing. This one has the Liberty Walk detailing on it, which I think is really cool. The side mirrors are awesome. This one, it's also well put together, so it's not like you're feeling like you're really fragile. Even the side mirrors are kind of metal, and they're not going to they're not gonna break off um, if you give it a little, bit of, a little bit of force, right? So, and then you got to see the bottom of this, too. Because, not only because there's detailing on the bottom, but you have to see that the wheels actually turn, not roll, of course they roll, but they actually turn as well. So this cab just is so, so cool. So when you put it back together, and add the container, you've got yourself one cool truck. Now, kind of put it here, turn the wheels, 
How cool is that? These container trucks are not cheap, but they are worth it. Maybe you don't get every one, but if you're a Liberty Walk fan, I highly suggest getting this one. There you go. That is your latest Mini GT update. These will be out very soon. Tons and tons of highlights. You guys tell me which ones you want, which ones you're going to get. Um, go on from there. Thank you, Mini GT. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy this. Bye.